Sans le savoir, c'est pour cet ange que j'ai passé par Amsterdam en route pour la Scandinavie. Atteinte d'un très grave cancer, Nikki, avec ce film, souhaite nous sensibiliser à l'importance de laisser derrière soi les mensonges et les illusions pour se tourner complètement vers l'amour, à commencer par l'amour pour soi-même. Je veux être son porte-voix, son micro et son miroir. Je l'ai invité à bord de Bigoudi avec son fils Nick pour prendre un grand bol dans la nature et un petit retour chez elle. Joy for the Planet veut offrir de la joie en chemin dans la spontanéité des rencontres. Elle était heureuse de s'accorder ce moment de bonheur inattendu en lien avec sa nature profonde. Parce que jusqu'à son hospitalisation, Nikki se met de la joie en abondance. Et en particulier en redonnant vie à des vêtements de seconde main pour en faire des pièces uniques destinées à aider les femmes à se sentir uniques et belles à leur tour. Pétrie de compassion et de générosité, Nikki a plus souvent offert que vendu ses trésors à des femmes aux conditions de vie modestes. Porter un vêtement style Nikki, c'est se sentir passé de la chenille au papillon. Later, what do you like to do? Mama, Pour Nick, son garçon de 10 ans, nous avons décidé ensemble de tourner ce film pour qu'il garde le plus beau souvenir de la plus belle maman du monde, quelle que soit la suite de leur histoire. À vous qui regardez cette vidéo, elle a accepté de vous ouvrir ses bras afin de partager avec une sincérité bouleversante ce qui lui semble le plus important à vivre sur cette terre. Mais j'en ai assez dit, ce film est le sien. Je me retiens pour lui laisser la place de rayonner et de partager la splendeur de son être. Learn who you are, what makes you happy, what is your dream. And the more you focus on this, automatically the things that, that resonate with this, they will come into your life. Like you have come to my, in, on my path today. And surround yourself with things that make you happy. Not just because they're in a magazine or just because they are in fashion. Just, just, just feel. Don't think, just feel. Nothing's going to be solved. I'm thinking, believe me, I've tried. <laughs> it's it's like like the diamond you Oh, thank you. It's, oh, lovely. I would like to give it to you. No, oh. no I, it's, it's it's my it's my pleasure. My question was to dress people, especially women, to see their beauty because they compare themselves to, to things that are unachievable and not even so beautiful. Your soul is the most beautiful thing you have. Your heart is the most beautiful thing you have. Your life story is what you are. Even the worst things of your life can bring beautiful moments like I'm experiencing now. My son. I filled him with love from since I know he's inside me. As much love as ever I can have and I tell him, be yourself, follow your heart and be authentic. And I'm so happy because he's singing, he's dancing, he's following his heart and he's strong but in a soft way. And he expresses himself and he doesn't care. And there's no one I love more in this world. I'm not afraid to die. I'm afraid to, to, to have pain, to suffer, but I'm afraid that I didn't live my life, that I didn't enjoy it, that I didn't love my friends enough, that I didn't suck up all the life enough. But everybody's gonna die. We are just in this body. We landed in this body. We have to take care of it. We have to love it and we have to cherish it for the time we are giving. And we are living like we are creatures that are gonna live for eternity. 
We will, but not in this body. And if you want to enjoy life, like I want to enjoy life, finally it's my time to enjoy it. After all this fighting, after all this surviving, I want to live. I want to be at peace and I want to love as much as I can. Look, I'm a single mother. I still have so much to do. I want to blossom. Now is my time to blossom. So really, it's not really a good moment. And if there ever is a time to be authentic, it's now. And I hope to touch as much hearts as I can. I did a fashion show a few years ago in a shop that was selling secondhand stuff. So there are some pictures hanging there. This is my, uh, <laughs> my shining moment. I don't have any filters. I don't identify myself with how much money I have or who is my father, who is my mother, who is what job I have. I don't identify with those things. In the hospital it's hard because if you're very sensitive and intuitive, uh, first of all you come to this world that you cannot connect with. It's like the, the illusion of healthy and sick authority and not even a person and it's about the most important thing it's your body that your soul lives in your body that's connected to all these people that you love your body that you need to live your life and this whole illusion in this hospital of zombie like people you know walking with this this chemo and they this it's like they're already already dead and i'm wondering why are you doing this nobody understands themselves better than you you know your body i know my body i know what my body can take i know what i need actually i know i need a massage i need someone to hold my hand i need to feel that my body is cherished my body is safe people will take care of me and they don't they don't just throw me on the bed put needles inside me take things out of me don't even ask me if it's okay I refuse to become an object. So from the moment I come to this hospital, I decided, okay, I'm gonna dress like a human being. I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna look them in the eye. I'm gonna ask them all questions. I'm gonna cry when I wanna cry. I'm gonna shout when I wanna shout because they have to see me as a person as the same as they are. They have to let go of this, this division they make. Like they are healthy, I'm not. They are, they are the law and the ruler. They are not. I would love to be a doctor in service to people. I would love to heal people. I would love to have his knowledge and sit down and tell them, okay, what, what can I do for you? What is it you want? What is it you need? I'm so sorry that this is happening to your body, but we can stop it, but we do it in your way. To me, that's, that's my world, that's my logic. But it puts you in a, in, a, in a cold room, far from the people you love. Why well, you can still walk, I can still breathe, I'm still alive. Why I already have to be in a, in a coffin? I'm so happy that I can tell my truth, finally. And I'm so happy that you are here to help me with this. I'm, I'm really blessed. I, I'm going to write a book. It's in my heart for a long time. And it will be called The Lie. The lie that we are told, the lie that we live, and I hopefully the lie that we die without. What lies were, were told to you? I'm not worthy to be loved. I'm not worthy to be safe. I'm not worthy to be able to have success in life. I'm not worthy to have a partner. I'm not worthy for anything. Or that you are too sensitive. It's always been told, you are so sensitive. Don't be so sensitive. Sensitive is my superpower. But it's, uh, there is only one way to live, and that's to be yourself. You cannot live your life being someone else. Always this comparing. 
it's it's making people so unhappy and forget how beautiful they are. Who's who's who says what is beauty? Who knows what is beauty? You know what is beauty. I know what is beauty. And I hope to give this truth to my son so he doesn't have to suffer. So he knows the truth. Let me live. Let me be with my friends. And also my friends, I would like to tell them, forget about your job. Forget all about your appointment. Just come and celebrate life with me. Just, that's it. <laughs>